We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. So the Bronx Bombers look for the series sweep at home against their division rivals. First pitch is next. Jonathan Luizaga will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Sends that one out of play for strike one. First pitch, 707. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled away. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they're coming off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. High in the air into shallow left center. Torres ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. That is third. The designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. First delivery to him on the way. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. The 3 2 pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. Here's the first pitch to him. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Martinez is off of first with two away. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? 
No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. The 2 1. Popped him up. Higashioka has a play. And the inning is over. Red Sox leave one. Red Sox nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Eduardo Rodriguez, a Venezuelan left-hander, will be the man on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He's strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams filled with guys that can hit throughout the lineup. This is a really good pitcher. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Yeah, Matty, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the heart of the plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off him. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. Outside, 3-0 and now. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez, he's gone two for eight. He's taken him deep once. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88-mile-an-hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He, too, had three knocks in yesterday's win. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. This is line to left. Benintendi's got it, and there's one away. Batting third. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. This is where you step out adjust the batting gloves and take a deep breath you have to slow the moment down I know you want to be a hero but that pitch right there a great executed changeup had this batter way out in front well the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone that thing wasn't even close and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make Chopped to third. Devers has it. And there's out number two. Batting four. No left fielder. Giancarlo. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch coming, here it is. So far this season, Stanton is a batting line residing in the 230s. Matty, he struggled this season against left-handed pitching, but maybe a little shot of confidence with the manager putting him in the lineup today. Two balls and no strikes, the count is Stanton. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here, why not? First base is open, walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot.
the 2 and 0. Had him hacking at the 2 0 change, and it's back to 2 and 1. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 and 0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. The 2 1 pitch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. If the offense didn't already know, man on the mound's got his A-game fastball working today. Three and two now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Payoff pitch on its way. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. The Yanks leave one. Still no score. Here now is Rafael Devers. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a change up taken but it finds the zone on the inside. Today's contest is of course the finale of the series and the Yankees have dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. This team going for the sweep is looking for some home cooking. It's always nice to win a series but particularly nice when you can sweep a series at home. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike and one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday several home runs in that ball game. The game of baseball is still based around pitching and yesterday they only allowed one run in that game and they're going for the sweep today and hoping that that pitching staff can be airtight again to make it back to back great outings. Here's the first baseman now Mitch Moreland in yesterday's game he was responsible for the only run driven in by his club. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. Here's a fastball upstairs one and oh and it certainly helps when you're throwing your ace on the mound in the series finale can't ask for much more than that. One of the keys when you show up to the ballpark and you're going for a sweep. You look at that lineup card, you see your ace pitcher is on the mound. You have to feel awfully good about your chances to complete the sweep. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Three balls and a strike to count to Moreland. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Striding in for Boston, Christian Vasquez. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six from the stretch. At the ball. The 1 0 home. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Next up for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Curveball just misses apparently. 1-0. 
No score here as we play inning number two. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Batting up the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. So it's first and second with two men gone. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's set. Here it comes. Ball inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Here's the 1-0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. In eight at bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Number 29. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Urshela tends to exploit left-handed pitching. Many hitters are better against opposite-handed arms, of course, but he's considered one of the best hitters in baseball in these types of matchups. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Rodriguez has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty Dean, I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this, because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start, and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the that first down. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Here's the pitch. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Uh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Strike taken up in the zone. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning set to get underway. Ready now, Andrew Benintendi. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. And he misses with it one and one.
the pitch. Hit down the line at first. Reined in. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Stepping into the box, Dustin Pedroia. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First delivery to him on the way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Now that designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 1-0. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. The 1-0. 2-0. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. And this is taken for a ball. He walked him. And the Sox had themselves a two-out base runner. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. So a runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up the power-hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope. Bogarts, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He's in the midst of his eighth major league season. One and oh pitch on the way. A ball and a strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Third inning, no score to this point. swing and a ground ball to third and as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning one left for the Red Sox home half of the third coming up no score at the plate Mike Talkman. he starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning how do they get to him here I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient he's been throwing a lot of strikes they might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count here's the first pitch to him at the ball The 1 0. -oh. Popped up. Pedroia over to his right. Throw by Pedroia will be in time, and there's your first out. Batting up. The catcher, Kyle. One out here in the Yankees third inning and up to bat next it'll be the catcher Kyle Higashioka. Here comes the first pitch. Just off the outside that time laid off for a ball. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. Can't catch up to that pitch and it's a ball and a strike. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. 
Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. The 2-2. Two -two. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. And there are two away now. Next to the Yankees, the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First pitch of the at-bat. Hey! Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Oh, and he nice takes fly. this one high, one and one. And it's one and two. Two out, nobody on. High in the air into shallow left center. Bogarts ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Standing in, Rafael Devers. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Now the pitch. Count now a ball and a strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, 1 and 2. Hit in the air to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Up next for the Red Sox, the first baseman, Nick Moreland. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Here it comes. The 1 0 home. One ball, one strike. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And a great yeah. athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Now battle. The catcher. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth and from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First delivery to him on the way. Outside that's the ball. Oh, that's low. 2 and 0 pitch on the way. Two balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Now to the plate, DJ LeMahieu is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings. 
with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Good cut fastball in there, one and one. Here's the pitch. A ball and two strikes. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there. He's got it one away. Now that right fielder, Aaron John. Ready for another chance? Aaron Judge. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that is off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So a good job of going the other way here as he checks in with the one out double as he tacks on to his total currently third best on the Yankee ball club. Giancarlo Stanton now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Two and 0 to the Yankees left fielder. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. The 2 0. 3 and 0 now. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Here it is, the 3 0. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Number 29. Next for New York, Gio Urshela. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. off for a ball two and one great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on pretty good shot he's going to get a challenge pitch right here now a swing and he pops him up and I believe yes the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He set and the pitch. There's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. fouled away. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Oh. 
Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Yanks strand a pair through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Thank you, Heidi. Settling in now, Alex Verdugo. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Alex. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. Count one and oh. The one oh. Hey. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. The one one home. Misses ball two. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Bradley, or JBJ as the initials read. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? One and two now. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And he chased it in the dirt. Higashioka goes to get it, and he makes the throw to first. Bradley is retired, and there's one away. Good pitch there, and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at-bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. The 1-2. Hit to short. Torres picks it up, and that's the second out. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of that. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Digging in to try it again, Dustin Pedroia, 0 for 2 on his line thus far.
Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. The 0-1 offering lifted into the air to shallow center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with a big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. Thank you, Heidi. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Torres is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right, but it just kept carrying and carrying, and the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back, but no dice. So now to the plate, Mike Talkman. And he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. And the 2 1. Liner towards second, but Pedroia there to pull it in, and that's the first out. Now batting, catcher, Kyle Gigashioka. Digging in now, Kyle Higashioka. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey! Oh, one's the count. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, one. Ball one. One and one. Inside and low, two and one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. All even now, two and two. Now here it comes. Count remains two and two. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Oh, 
And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored now looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Oh, look at the dive. It's there, and he's out. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. Back with more Sunday Night Baseball following this. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Here's Xander Bogarts now. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A low the zone, a swing and a miss. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night. Working that outer half of the plate, that's why he's having so much success. A one count, here's the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. A runner at first with no outs here. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. As a look, now the pitch. Line drive to center field. Tuckman is right there, one down. Now batter, third baseman, Rafael Devers. Digging in once again, Rafael Devers. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Runner at first here, one man out. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Tuckman comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Cut for the red card. The first baseman, Nick Moreland. 
Ready for another shot now. Mitch Moreland. He was a ground out victim last time up. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Two out with the man at first. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Working for the punch out and the offering. Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2 2. And he's able to find a knock out there. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Vasquez brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. In the dirt here. Good job to get to that quickly, though, and the count will even at one. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. The set and the two and one. And it misses three and one now. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Hit on the ground to third. A dive and he knocks it down. But the recovery will come too late and the bases are loaded now. The white field, number 99. Alec Perdugo. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's set the 0 1. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0 and 2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. The 0 and 2. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Stanton is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Striding forward now, DJ LeMahieu. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. A 
ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes yeah. now. One and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bradley is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting right fielder, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball. Bases are empty, one man out. Too tight oh, with that one. Back. Three and oh. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Rip down the line. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 3 1. Ball four. Thank you, man. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch now, like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, 1-0. One some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now the 1-0. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. He gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Runners on first with one down. Two two pitches fouled away. From the belt, kicks and deals. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. To the plate now, Gio Urshela. The swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. And Moreland will put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. They lead it one to nothing. Your Zach Britton please. is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. One ball, one strike. Swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready on one and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff okay. hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Set with the 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Now here's the pitch. And he'll come back with 1 in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The 2-1 home doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. Striding into the box, Dustin Pedroia. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hold 0 and 2. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. Runner at first here one man out. And here's a pitch inside and that got him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Ben Heller takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. J.D. Martinez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. From the stretch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. 
According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Martinez begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. A bouncer up the middle. Torres scoops it up. LeMahieu for one. On the first, and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Fine work there out of the Yankee bullpen. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Yankees one, and the Red Sox nothing. So striding in, Luke Boyd. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. We're moving along into the later innings, and this guy's throwing over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. And another foul ball. O2 once more. He is swung on and missed strike three. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely now lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout right. of the series. They've really got him figured out. At the plate now, Torres. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The wind-up and the 0-1. Nope, outside. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. One out, nobody on. This is foul right side. The one, two. Nope, that's a ball. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Swing and a liner. Foul. Popped him up. Moreland has room in foul territory, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now so he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And we see that these guys are currently in third place in the AL in that department. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Not an altogether bad performance here, six and two-thirds, but he stands to be the loser unless things can turn around. Ryan Brazier takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Number 70, Ryan Brazier. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Talkman. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And there's his first base hit in this one. 
Matty, that's a surprising pitch right there. I don't understand after blowing a fastball by him, he would speed his bat up with off speed. Yeah, redemption after being late right on time with the off speed pitch next. In now, Kyle Higashioka as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready with the 0 1. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1 and 1. A runner on first with two away. Two balls and a strike. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout and that'll do it in the inning as the catch is made in the coach's box. The Yanks leave one but they're up one to nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The Yanks leading by the slimmest of margins late in this one and trying to hang on and earn the series sweep. One of the keys if you want to sweep the team is you're going to have to get some big outs in that seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. They're leading by a run as we're going towards the end of this game. Now it's time for the pitching staff to put this one under wraps. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. Now that the third baseman, Rafael Devin. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Swing and a soft liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled off. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest. One and one. And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They are all out in full force, coming to the ballpark, hoping to witness a sweep, and it looks pretty good at this point. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. The 2-1 and one on its way, and he fouls this one off. Here's the 2 2. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at bat of the night so far. The 3 2 pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. Throw comes back into the infield as that tying run will hold up at third with still nobody out. 
Yep. Boy, there's a bullet base okay. hit right there, but you have to hold there, D Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. And he puts it on the ground to second. To second for one on the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. A base is loaded. Last thing we want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. So a runner at third, two men are out, and that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. First pitch of the at-bat. Nope, that's down. Ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Softly hit here to the left side. But little trouble handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. Red Sox settle for just the one. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. All tied at one and one. Michael Chavis remains in the game, batting ninth and manning first base. Now playing first base, number 23. Heath Hembry is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 37, Heath Hembry. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Over two with a walk for him so far. The designated hitter, Miguel. He's set. Here it comes. The 1 0. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. 2 0 count. Here it comes. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fouled away. The 0-1 pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough game. And he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. So digging in now, Aaron Judge. It was a walk in his last trip.
from the belt, the pitch, and it's fouled away. So far on the year, Judge is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. Matty, great matchup right here. He's been absolutely hammering right-handed pitching all season long. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Hembry, the native of South Carolina. He was a fifth-round pick back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. The one two still a ball and two strikes lucky he got a piece right there he was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch he'll try again one two grounder down the line at third a dive and oh he can't hang on and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him now that no one feels like you're part of so a pivotal moment here in digging in now. Giancarlo Stanton as he's presented with the bases loaded situation in a tie ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. Whoa. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count. Not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. From the belt, the pitch. Over. Gotta love a late rally. And listen to this crowd now. They are really into this. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Liner toward right center. And he has broken this one open as this is down for extra bases. In the score, the runner from third. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. Darwin's and Hernandez is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Hernandez. Stepping in, Gio Urshela. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. He's set, and the pitch lays one off 1-0. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. One run is scored. Now a third runner heading for the plate. And a relay home. And he's safe. Base is loaded, and he was looking to drive them all in the second he stepped into the box. Puts a big swing on this thing, and the ball just gets down to the wall, allowing everyone to come around and score. He'll take a three-run double every day of the week. At the plate, Luke Voigt. And yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far.
the 1-0. Hernandez, 23 years old. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Man, I know this feeling, how frustrated this hitter is right now. We used to have a saying in the dugout, don't be that guy. When everybody's getting hits, don't be the guy that takes the over. But you got to zone up. You can't be chasing. Ben Intendi's got it, and there's one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now that, not shortstop, Waver. Torres. Ready once again, Torres. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Inside, ball one. Four runs here in this half inning. That's wide, 2-0. and oh. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Now the 2-1 pitch it is a fastball that misses. Still only one out in the inning. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Digging in and looking for more, Mike Talkman. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's Whoa, off now. Maybe he gets hot. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. -oh. That's ball, dude. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. And that's in there. Three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. Really deceptive changeup right there. It died right before the plate, and he was left reaching for air. Now the three and two pitch. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Here comes the payoff pitch. A swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d -Road, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, got him a swing oh, out of his good. shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. 
got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. A ball and no strikes. No hits to this point. One and no pitch on the way. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. If you're hitting in this situation, you have to look one spot, and that is all. This guy is really scuffling out on the mound. The bases are loaded. 2-0 count. He's all over the place. One spot. If it's not there, you have to take. The 3-0 pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again still with the bases loaded. Josh Taylor answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. In now, DJ LeMay here. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well, he needed to get oh, ahead, and he does with the fastball. It's 0-1. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. The 0-2 home. Line to the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. We've played eight full. The Yankees lead this one six to one. Jonathan Holder comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. set to start the ninth in this one coming to the plate now Jackie Bradley Jr. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah Matty big time K last time up and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The batter. The left fielder. Andrew Benintendi. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Andrew Benintendi. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1-0. Oh. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep, and at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. Two balls and two strikes now. 
Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard to the right side. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. The batter number 50, second baseman, Justin Pedroia. So now to the plate, Dustin Pedroia. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Now the 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And they'll go off-speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. This is line to left. Stanton is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now that the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Now the Red Sox D.H., J.D. Martinez. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The 1 0. Ball two. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. The 2 0 on the way is looked at for ball three. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Three and one to Martinez. I got three and one. Three balls, one strike. Two out with the man at first. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Last strike now for the Red Sox. And he gets the punch out as the Yankees break out the brooms at home and sweep their division rivals. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series, breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. And tonight's comes to a conclusion, 6-1 to one the final. The Yankees came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Ben Heller claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.